The Moose trying to solve the Marlies over the two years that they've been in Manitoba. Only two wins and 13 tries. The Toronto Marlies trying to peg another one here this weekend as they climb back up the standings. They'll have Garrett Sparks in goal this afternoon right here at Rico Coliseum. Hall off of him and now LePaul with a shot right on. Picked up and another opportunity from Cornier. Garrett Sparks called upon in the first four minutes seven times already. And one of those plays when you're looking to head it through the middle, it's got to be tape to tape. Looks for a pass. Over to Griffith. Backside, Griffith out front. Shoots! Blocked. Draws him in and now Corrado pushes it back over to Smith. Out front, right goal, Griffith hops over his stick. Their power play expire, but a good opportunity is Frank Corrado down to Smith and then down to Reichel and he goes through the blue paint. Out front, great chance, set wide as Sparks makes another good quality positional save. In out front, Lou's still there, scrambling is Sparks. And it stays out, and Garrett Sparks is the reason. Well, a couple of big saves there to keep this a 0-0 hockey game. Finishing a long road trip, and you need a big effort. You want to be front and center. In! That one finds a way! As Timoshoff sends it down low towards Comrie and finally opens up the scoring. In the early third period, well, Dimitro Timoshoff. And good things happen when you shoot the puck. And he just stops up, he cuts across, and he throws it towards the goal. And you've got the Winnipeg, or the Manitoba Moose defenseman who's trying to box out the Marley player. It goes off him, and it redirects past the goaltender, Comrie, and a bit of a lucky goal. But when you shoot the puck, good things happen, and that's a classic case of it right there. Go check. Knocked down on the play. Back up high it comes. Roslovic back over. Corrado in front of this. Out front, here's Churchman, side of the goal, knocked away! And a great chance by the Moose, but they can't convert on it. Less than 10 seconds, Churchman picks it up again. The crowd on its feet, the shot doesn't get across. And the Marlies come up winners, 1-0.